Yo folks, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about reroll tips and tier list for Path to Nowhere, a tower defense strategy RPG where you can move the units a bit. Let's jump right into the reroll. So 1-4 is very important because you need to get right here and beat it in order to do the rerolls, all right? Now, rerolling can take upwards from 25 to 45 minutes, maybe even an hour, depending on how fast your phone is. So after you beat this stage, we can go through everything. Now, I said this tower defense RPG is a little bit different from others, mostly because you can actually move your units. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and move my units a little bit back because there's gonna be some units that come out of nowhere. Now, you don't do much as part of like the management in the very beginning because you see how like they have like these blue little meters on them that will determine when they can cast their skills. That's going to be the energy factor. And what's really important is obviously you kill the ranged units range units in this game are going to be very valuable this rare unit right here the one that i used earlier she's going to be really good and someone to pay attention to so right here this is going to be the counter as well as to how many units are going to be appearing number of mobs so you can see one unit popped out of this door so make sure to pay attention to the doors in this game actually i think that's going to be the movement my bad sand is going to be the thing that lets you determine how many times are left before a unit can be attacked or our leader unit right here so correction on that part and there we go if we promoted our units this will be a little bit faster it's up to you whether you want to go through that process we have unlocked 1-5 and there we go we got the event hall rolling around so now that you have gotten everything it's really important go into the mail make sure to process all that will be the claim all button these are going to be our summon tickets the warrants right there now that we've done that go into arrest right here these are going to be the banners this one grants you a guaranteed s or the highest rarity these are going to be your standard banners or rate up banners and if you look at it you click i right here you can see 2.84 percent rates including all of the s's right and just know 80 is for pity every single banner which isn't too bad it's not 100 so that's pretty good and let's go ahead and do some summons right here depending on what happens and in case you're like how does this summon animation work you're like looking for all the different units i don't like this because it's a little bit annoying i have to go through like all the different things but this animation right here is kind of fun zoya our buff buff mommy waifu i love her she's actually pretty decent and she reminds me a lot of langley the range dps we'll talk about all the different units Am I going to be keeping this account? To be honest with you, let me see what we got here. We got Labyrinth, we get her for free. And we got Flora, who's decent. This is an okay account, depending on who we get. The most important things that I want you guys to know while re-rolling, it's not really that important to get an S rank, it's actually the tanks. So, mm, yeah, we got Peggy. This is a pretty good account that I would keep, personally speaking. But now that we've, you know, gone through the information on how to reroll, get all of the different summons and stuff, and don't forget the pre-registration gifts, let's jump right into that tier list because I know you guys are waiting for that. Over here, this is going to be the CN information. You guys are like, what exactly does this mean? T0 is going to be the units that are recommended. And I also broke down all of the information right here. My sources, obviously this wiki on the Billy games. And of course, huge thank yous to Q. They are the JP creator that provided all of this information in a more viewable format, which is really nice. So this first tier list right here is our supports. They are amazing, specifically Hamel. We'll go over them in individual detail, but briefly speaking, she has a heal on her auto, which is really good. Ariel right here, she is going to be an SR. So I know that S rank was the highest based off of like the game, but this is the way they broke it down. She is also going to be a fantastic healer. We'll talk about her more. Macchiato is a rare unit. I was looking for her as well. She is going to be really good. SR install, she's not as great. That's the pink haired waifu right here. And I have all of the details right above in the Google Chromes in case you are, you know, curious what's going on or the Excel spreadsheets. Here are Fury type units. They are going to be more warrior bruiser types. You can see, I think Zoya was the unit that I pulled lately and she's pretty good, but Nox is going to be even more amazing. She has a three by three like wipe that is way better than Zoya's. And not to mention Nox also has defense reduction. All these other units are really great. In my opinion, DPSs aren't that important because DPSs, they're DPSs and they're always gonna get outclassed in the future. 
Reticle, these are going to be your range physical DPS. This is Langley. I highly recommend her. She's going to be your S rank, you know, waifu that can deal damage from all over the places. And then this is the rare unit that I was talking about earlier. I forget her name. And this is going to be the other SSR unit. She has turrets and she's really good. In some situations, she might be better than Langley. But let's cover other things. Next up is Umbra units. These are going to be assassin style units. Labyrinth is going to be the maid waifu that looks like Rem that we got earlier. Baiyi is going to be an assassin type, all right? She's really good as well. And both jump around between the maps or on the field, which is what makes them so valuable. And then here are going to be our arcanes that are more DPS oriented. We have Arena at the top, who looks a lot like Edelgard from Fire Emblem. And then we also have Hecate right here, and then some other waifus as well. These range DPSs, Langley and Arena, Imo, they are really important. But just in case you're wondering, those are my recommendations for range. And then we have tanks right here who are also known as defenders, I believe. And then we have demon up top and they molly the rare unit. We'll cover them in more detail. This is their overall opinions on the best SSRs within the game. And in my opinion, Hamley definitely deserves to be up there. Same with Nox. I feel like we could bump up this pink haired unit a little bit higher and then everyone else at the bottom. This is definitely pretty accurate as far as SSRs go, but I don't agree as like SSRs are the most important within this game because it's like Arknights where strategy and placement is more important than the actual rarity of the units. I want to emphasize that. So but let's go over in detail a couple of things. So this is Hamel, right? She is going to be the best unit in the game to roll for in my opinion, just because like we covered earlier, her auto attacks are heals. But not to mention she can increase effects her passives unlock capabilities where she can increase the duration of effects and not to mention increased damage reduction which is really great she has the most consistent heal in the game and then not to mention nox we were talking about her skills earlier this is going to be her three by three which is really good and probably the thing that makes her different from all her other dps and then her ghostly trebling, which makes defense reduction. And then we have Arena right here. I think the coolest thing is her S1, which is going to be a black hole ability that's going to be dealing magnificent damage. Not to mention it's a nine squared grid or a three by three. So even though it says like the skill range is one tile right here, it actually means like where you place that tile is going to be a three by three. So I like that a lot. And then not to mention all of her other attacks make it so that she's going to be dealing even more DPS. Probably the best caster DPS wise. And then Langley, we talked about her further. Just know, look at her AoE. It's a little bit different from Nox and Irina. It's going to be a 3x3 grid, but only around her, which makes her mm, not as ideal. She has the same ability as Zoya comparatively. And then Ariel right here, she's going through the support that I feel is going to be really good. Mostly because her skill 1 is going to be an AoE heal around her. Just know she doesn't heal on her auto attack. It's just going to be a basic attack. But in the future, she can do things where it's like she enters certain zones and she can provide healings. Her passives also make it so that she can provide healing based off of the units around her, which is really good. It's going to be on a six second cooldown. And then her aid of prayer is also going to increase recovery effects for you no know, 10 seconds, which I think is really good. Honestly, the most important units which will determine this account, in my opinion, is someone like De Molly because she is going to be providing heals on herself and she's a rare unit. I wish I got her just so that I could have more lane coverage because what seems to be while I'm playing Path Nowhere is the better I can protect my lanes or at least make it so that the units can clump up in one section so my DPS can deal damage, the better. So Daemali is super great at that. And then we have Peggy right here who's going to be providing a bunch of shields to herself, which I think is great. And then not to mention, she also has a per second heal based off of Inspirational Passive. So Inspirational will be really important for her. And of course, getting her will be easier because she's going to be a rare unit. And then you have Macchiato right here as well, who's going to be a, an okay healer. She's not going to be good as Ariel. Just knows she can do her heals on inspirational flogging. And then she has a heal on her double contact and damage reduction on accustomed to pain. The reason why I'm covering Labyrinth, of course, is because of the fact that you saw her earlier on the tier list. She was around like the S tier ranges specifically on the umbras and assassins right and the reason for that is because she has the ability to dart around the map not to mention she is going to be increasing her critical damage and her crit rates fairly significantly so let's say you're in a pinch and then she can move to that area and essentially take out the opponents just know she cannot tank anything whatsoever she's going to pop almost immediately so make sure to bring her into an area and then immediately take her out 
in case you're like, oh, she's going to be great because she's S tier. No, she's not S tier in the way the other units are because maybe Bai Yi is going to tank a little bit more damage than the others. Let's jump back into the game. Go into Bureau right here. This is going to be where you can look at some of the units in case you want to sort of do so. Let's jump back, go into Archives, and then we're going to go into Librum. And these are going to be like, hey, these are the waifus you collected, right? You can go right here into the bottom and you can see all of them. Now, there's not going to be a lot of info, but at least you can view them based off of name and you can get an extra bit of currency. That way you can do some more summons, right? So let's cover another account I rerolled. Click the top left menu right there if you didn't see it right here where it says my name, right, Borco. You go over here, you click this icon right here at the bottom right, and then you hit log out, you hit confirm. That's really important. And then once you're in the main menu, don't click anything. See this little button on the left, right hand side, make sure to tap that, hit agree, and then now you are logged out. Make sure to sign in with whichever account. Now we're loading into another account, and you can see here, this is Bork. <laughs> And then you're going to go over here into the mailbox. We're going to claim all. So process all. There we go. We got some stuff. I already did it on this account because I was testing a few things. We already claimed the pre-registration gifts. Go into rest. As you can see, 27, 7, 1800 jemmies. And of course, I can do more summons because I have the 1800 gems right here or hyper cubes. But let's go ahead and do this, shall we? Hopefully we get Hamley right here. That would be really cool. If not, any range DPS is really. Oh, we got two. Bro, I did not know we could get two. Hopefully this is real. Yo, we got Hamel. I called her Hamley earlier. And then we got Lisa right here. Did we actually get two S ranks on this account? Of course, this is going to be a keeper. We got Demon. Bro, okay. So in this account, it's going to be pretty good to start off. But in my opinion, I would be really hyped if I got Demolia. Even though Demon's going to be insane. Yeah, Demolia. That's her real name. Demolia? Yeah, yes. Bro, this is hype. Now, <laughs> and the reason for that is just because I'll have pretty good lane coverage. Oh man, that's really satisfying. I've worked like hours just to get this reroll, bro. I'm not kidding. Cause I was trying to set up everything, man. All right, let's go ahead and see. And, oh, we got three? Bro, I can't find the last one. Oh, it's right there, it's pointing me out. There we go. And who's going to be our third S rank within this account? Cinnabar, <laughs> you just baited me, A rank. Peggy, yo. Great tank as well. We got EMP, great archer, great archer, great range unit. We got another Macchiato, or maybe that's our first Macchiato. Who is this going to be? The special, we got Zoya, bro, the mommy, the abs, I love it. This is a great account, but at the same time, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to work with because it's gonna cost a lot more. I think this game is a little dupe intensive. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't played long enough to check it out, but if the passes require dupes, let me know in the comments because that's just going to be really annoying. So out of these, which one do I want to summon for? Personally, I'm going to go on the regular banner and we're going to be able to, I think, to do two more summons or two more multis. So technically on my first showcase, right, where I was like, hey, I can do you know the summons there. I missed out on some summons. So by the time you do 40, which makes it so that I don't think you should, you know, have to reroll whatsoever, then you should be good. We got Peggy right here. We got Labyrinth. That is pretty great in my opinion. And then we're going to go ahead and do another roll 1620 because we have a ticket left. Let's go ahead and do the Skippies right here. And then we got Labyrinth. Nice. And a couple other units. Yeah, 275 left. Technically speaking, if you want to go balls to the wall, I think you can do one more summon. So let's go ahead and do that. How did I do this? I just have multiple accounts on Google and then I also have like a Twitter account. I think if you have like an extra Twitter account, extra Google accounts, you can do the rerolls and whatnot. But yo, we are looking good. We got Demon, Zoya, Hamel, not to mention our rares. We got Peggy and then we also got Demolia, which are really amazing. And I'm going to be leveling up EMP like crazy because I love her archer abilities, like how fast she can cast that little arrow. But yeah, that's going to be the reroll tips and that's going to be the tier list infos. You know, let me know in the comments in case you're like, hey, Bork, you missed this unit or you want to point out a specific unit because I feel like this game has a lot of hidden gems in it. There's just going to be a lot of situations where, for example, maybe Hamel is not the best unit in the entire game because her heals aren't the ones that you need. You need someone like Ariel or you need someone like Macchiato. But yeah, the variety, the waifus, I love it. High recommendations. I think this is a great game for everyone to try. But 
Anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram if you want to see my face. Once we hit 40,000 subs, we're doing a giveaway. Hopefully this video helped you out the tier list and reroll tips. Thanks so much for watching and have yourself a fantastic day. See ya.